This is a walkthrough video of 4755 Lark Ridge. Um, again, we're located on Proctor and Beneva, just to the east of, and north of Proctor and Beneva. It's a little nicer part of the street. The houses are pretty well kept along here. Um, this is a bank-owned property, as you can tell by the condition of the lawn. It does have a garage, and i got to say the roof looks pretty good from first observation. Nice tree in the front yard here. Um, you know, it's been let go. There actually are some nice plants in there, a little pond. This could just be cleaned up and would have some nice curb appeal. I can see it's outfitted for uh, hurricane shutters, newer windows, which is nice. So one thing I really hate, but I see it all the time, is you walk in and there's a wall. It's like, oh, hello, here's a wall. Now I turn this way. Um, whew. It smells like, um, it's not bad. It's just like uh, some sort of air freshener that's a little much. Anyway, we have updated windows, which are actually really nice windows. I us say, those are good looking windows. Dual pane. Uh, we have crown molding all the way around. Unfortunately, there's popcorn up there, but you know, it's nice, I to say. Mismatched tile. All right, crazy tile here, but that's okay. This is the, okay, I'll start right here, I guess. This is the master bedroom. Check out those lights, that's fancy. And look at that border around the ceiling. Doesn't get fancier than that. Ceiling's not bad in here. It's a good looking ceiling fan. Uh, carpet which is kind of dirty. Looks like the drywall patched here, but look at the shower. Actually, the shower's kind of cool. Nice tile. It's actually tile, goes all the way up. Someone did a nice job there with a second shower head added. Actually got two showers, so that's a his and her shower, I guess. Um, interesting. Kind of tight as I walk in, and that's a newer vanity. It's kind of a weird arrangement. But it's okay, I mean, uh, it's okay. A little tight as I walk in. Uh, good size closet. And I can see how they got to add that extra shower valve right there. That's how they did it. They cut a little hole. They were gonna do it there and they changed their mind and did it right there. Anyway, uh, so that's a master bedroom. Nice window, only window. Okay. Boy, that wall's begging to be knocked out of there. So we got a kitchen with plastic stuff on the ceiling, which is my favorite. I'm just joking, I don't like it. And uh, the soffit is low. A little eat-in area here. Nice windows, got window envy. I really like these windows. Actually, it's a big kitchen. It could be opened up, you know, take that wall out, but you know, that's what I always say. So we got a little linen closet here. This bathroom is red. No, it's, it's like burnt orange. Nice window. Nice tile. Took the shower head. Nice toilet. It's, a, it's actually a nice bathroom. You know, not much to be done here. I, 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 someone could move into this thing because it is in pretty good condition. It's bank owned. They have it listed at 208, but given the fact it has a decent roof, upgraded windows, you know, this is a laminate flooring here. It's, you know, there's, there's so many types of flooring here. I can't count. Let's, let's just count the flooring, shall we? Um, guest bedroom with nice windows. Nice fan. Flooring, missing a threshold, but okay. So we have this kind of flooring, which I believe, hi Bella. I believe that's different than that type of flooring, but it's pretty close. So the bedrooms are slightly different than the hallway. Certainly different than the kitchen, certainly different than the living room, and certainly different than the bathroom. It's like a flooring showroom in here. Here's all the different types of flooring. Oh, and yet another flooring in here, and then finally carpet in the bedroom. So if I were to count up the number of different types of flooring, oh, and different tiles in the bathroom. Let's just, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different types of flooring in one house. That's, that's gotta be a record of some sort. Um, but okay, a little concerned about that leak up there. I don't know if it's been patched or what, but a little concerning. 
This is very concerning. I don't know how I get out of here. But I see an active roof leak. It's in here. Wow. Oh, wow. So the lanai. These uh, screens have seen better days. This lanai has seen better days. Must be an active roof leaf up there. They took down the ceiling. I like the cardboard that's uh, holding the insulation up. Oh, I see. I missed this. Huh. Oh, yet another type of flooring, outdoor carpet. This is kind of kludgy, I have to say. I don't know what's going, what this is. Got a little air conditioning. You know, I've never really seen the lanai bisected, and that's kind of what they did here, is they put up this wall to separate the air-conditioned lanai from the non-air-conditioned lanai. I don't know. And there, yet there's an air-conditioned duct right there, so go figure. Huh. And there's an air-conditioning duct there. Weird. Uh, I like how this has been patched up. That's, that's a nice touch. That's really secure. Um, how did Bella get out there? She jumped through the window? Wow, wow, what's going on here? It's the land that time forgot here, a little zen garden. <gasps> a little workshop. What do you think's in there? Surprise and delight. But, you know, it's, uh, it, it doesn't back up on a busy street, so that's nice. But there was a pond there at one time, a little zen pond. A little workshop, a little storage. Storage room. Oh, it's a little workshop storage room. Um, okay. You know, I, they want 208 for it. I mean, it's a little high. But it's an interesting data point. Because it needs a lot of work, too. So, I'm sure it needs a flat roof. I think the other roof is good, but I can't say it with certainty. There's a lot of weirdness going on here, though. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941-366-0000. Uh, you enjoy these wi these videos? Please subscribe, and because um, there's plenty of them. I like doing them, and I like that you like watching them. So, if you have any questions about this or any other property for sale, give me a call, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.